Hi, I'm Steve Casely from CBT Nuggets, and this micro nugget is focused on technology debt, or more appropriate, how to fix and remove the technology debt, the bad code that gets introduced into our systems as we're pursuing the just-in-time development approaches of agile scrum development. But before we get into the discussion on fixing our technology debt, let's just take a moment and discuss what is technology debt. And at its simplest, technology debt is poor code. It works. Technology debt is not resolving bugs. Technology debt is not making changes to the code to add new functionality requested by the business. Those are separate user stories to add new functionality. Technology debt is fixing poor, fragile, complex code that works. And the key, again, is it's working. So again, often the premise is, why fix something that's not broke? It's working? Well, it is broke. It's poor code. It's complex code. It doesn't follow standards. It doesn't dot, 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 dot. There can be any of a multitude of reasons why the code that's in our production systems, our functional systems, needs to be fixed from a technology, from a coding standards viewpoint. The reason we want to fix technology debt is it's at the point of breaking. We just added one more story to add new business functionality to a piece of poor code, and we were able to force it in. We were just able to find a way to add this new functionality, to add this little bit of extra code into an extremely complex piece of code. But when we're all done and it's tested, we just feel, holy cow, if I had to do anything else, this code is just going to fall apart all over the floor. We've got to step back and we fix it. We've hit the breaking point of our code. So as soon as we recognize we've hit the breaking point of a code, we say we have technology debt. It has to be fixed. And how do we fix it? Do we fix it at the same time we're fixing or adding the new functionality to the story? No. The story points for that user story was four story points, and that's just enough story points to add the new business functionality. So we don't have time in this sprint to fix the technology debt. We create a team story. Fix customer maintenance screen. This is a team story. This is a team story for technology debt. The team is going to pick up an index card. The team is going to write the issue, why the technology debt exists on a story card. We're going to call the story card, fix the customer maintenance screen, and we're going to post it on the product backlog. The team has the ability to post stories on, on the backlog. The team has the ability to influence the product owner to select the stories for, a, for consideration for the next sprint. But fixing technology debt is the same as adding business functionality. It's a story, but it has to be done because it's at the point of breaking. So our story has been posted. The product owner agrees that this is a key piece of code that needs to be fixed moves that story into the sprint backlog for the next sprint. So now it's the team member's time to fix, to address, to work on the story for fixing the technology debt. How do we do that? Well, straightforward, we make the changes to fix the technology debt. The concern with fixing technology debt, the concern with taking this very fragile code and improving it is, what if I break it? What if I, what if I do more than, how do I fix it? Well. Using Scrum principles, the adage for resolving technology debt, again, is pretty straightforward. The first thing we do is validate it that it works today. Hopefully, you have automated testing in place. Hopefully, you have an automated build server in place. And therefore, step number one is automatic. The module for the customer maintenance screen is part of our automated build today. The automated build works. It's a green light. So therefore, I have validated that it works today. If you don't have all of these automated processes in place, our first step for fixing technology debt is to develop the test cases to prove, to validate it works. 
We want to know what the current state is. We want to know what it takes to validate the current state. And then we fix the code with confidence. And the key is we fix the bad smells, we fix the issues, we resolve the technology debt, and we resolve only the technology debt. We want to make sure that the code functions 100% the same when we're done as it did before. All we're doing is removing the fr fragileness of the code itself. We fix the code with confidence, and then we revalidate that it still works. And again, hopefully you have the automated build and the automated testing processes in place, in which case revalidating it still works is you check it into your configuration repository, the automated build works, and you still have a green light. If you don't, then you dust off the test cases you just produced, you rerun them, and again, you revalidate it that the code still works. And that's fixing technology debt, removing fragile code points, and validating that the functionality is the same at the end of improving our code base as it was at the beginning. Resolving technology debt is critical to effective agile scrum development because we will introduce technology debt as we're working simply because of the nature of the style of just-in-time coding. We do just enough coding to make the story work and over time that introduces technology debt. Then we step back, we fix the technology debt, and we have the confidence to move forward. I hope this has been informative for you and thank you very much for viewing.